getting ready to make the uh, top pieces that uh, hold all the pieces on that top rail together and just got a piece of uh, scrap brass in here uh, I've got it turned down to 17 30 seconds uh, that was the biggest nominal size I could get out of it and I'm gonna go ahead and get those pieces turned Now for the steel rods, I'm using some of that uh, metal that I get off of political signs, you know, that hold up the bags that have the, the politician's name on them. But it's got a little rust on it, so I gotta get that cleaned off. I just used some 220 sandpaper, and then I'm gonna use some uh, 320 uh, that'll give it kind of a satin leaf finish. I've got the rod for the upright uh, here in the collet and I'm going to pull it out just a little bit so I can get to it a little bit better and I'm going to get this shaped. Now I'm starting to get my parts cleaned up. I've got them all made and I'm starting to get them cleaned up to be soldered. And so I'm using some, uh, this is acid paste flux right there. And I'm just using some Q-tips. I'm using the uh, stick in to get inside the little holes and this part on the outside. And so I'm getting these cleaned up and the way I'm cleaning them is just I'm sanding. Uh, I'm going to take a little piece of sandpaper and roll it up and stick it in the holes like right here I'm gonna stick it in there and clean those up and then I'm gonna take a little bit of sandpaper and I'm gonna clean these ends and then get them fluxed and put all together placed and then uh, get it soldered the whole thing about this is cleanliness it's got to be absolutely clean so you want to take a piece of clean sandpaper that doesn't have any oil or anything like that on it and clean these ends flux them put them together and then solder them All right, I've got this all laid out, and I just took some side cutters, and I cut some pieces off of uh, some lead solder, and I've laid those at the joints, and I took these nuts so I could kind of stand off from these brass pieces, and I used this to get it lined up. I can sight down these rods, and they're all, well, they were all lined up. Hang on, I must have bumped it.
All right, so if you watched that soldering part, um, I apologize for how painful that was, but it actually didn't turn out too bad. You can see the there's not too much extra solder on there. It's all lined up. I should have just spent more time getting it all secured so it couldn't move around. What I didn't expect was that when the flux that was inside these holes heated up, it squirted out my parts. So anyway, it uh, we got it done in the long run. Okay, I just need to get this cleaned up. Now I've got a, a little felt pad here and it goes up on this little screw to hold it. And then I've got some white buffing compound for brass. And then um, I'm going to use that to start cleaning these up. It's going to take a little while, so I'll just kind of get started and then I'll uh, turn it off and finish this up. All right, it's been about 15 minutes and I gave up on those buffs and um, started using, I got some 320. 320 sandpaper wrapped around a popsicle stick and that is working really well it's cutting this now it's taking it's roughing up the finish on my brass but I can come back and sand that back up you know using some what I've been doing is using 600 and then 1000 and then 1200 and then buffing it with some red rouge so I got this thing completely finished, buffed out, solder removed, everything, and realized that I had made it too short. So I had to remake it. So this time I've got it set up better uh, to solder. You saw what a disaster that was last time. So I've got it much more secure. I've got some heavy steel blocks here holding that rod. Some nuts holding these brass pieces upright. So I'm going to get this soldered again. I've already got the little bits of solder sitting at each joint alright now I'm just using my uh, jewelry buffer and I made this if you're interested it's, there's a video out there for it um, but now I'm just using this to buff up that last I wound up uh, sanding it to a 600 grit and then this is uh, this red rouge is finishing it off. Give me a really high polish on there. Alright, I'm just going to finish this up. <laughs> 